Hi guys, it's me. What's up with this? We get 15 minutes, but then the video looks slow. Uh, anyway, who am I to complain? It's free. Um, not been doing a whole lot here. We've just been enjoying the peace and quiet. And today, we had nothing planned all day, but but dinner. We were going to go out for dinner. But when it got dinner time, Uncle Cece and I just decided we didn't want to get dressed, brush hair, take showers, all of that stuff, as evidenced by the way my hair looks right now. <laughs> um, so we were just in the house all day. We have been having problems with um, the spare bedroom floor, the room that my sister sleeps in now. Uh, the wood was turning to sawdust. It wasn't termites. It happened that I had, there, it's a very small room, so there's, mm, there's only two choices for twin bed configuration in there, and I have two twin beds in there, and I made the wrong choice. I covered the air vent up, and who knew that it could collect enough condensation to have to replace the complete floor underneath the bed. Yes, ma'am, I did it. Yes, sir, I did it. The whole floor up underneath there. Uh, one wrong room move and my sister would have been through the floor. <laughs> uh, well, the bed wouldn't have gone through the floor, just the feet of it, but it would have it would have been kind of funny, I have to tell you. But anyway, um, no laughing matter. There is only one other way that I can f configure the room and keep two beds in there, and that is to put them in an L shape so that they kind of look like a, a corner sofa set. So that's what we're going to do, and we never got a dresser or chest in there because it really was, I, I used to sew in there and do my crafts in there, and it was the bed, beds for company, and we rarely have company. Um, we had Shaw's mother and father come through, and once in a while, and um, brother-in-law and sister-in-law, but not a whole lot of company. So, we never got a dresser and chest for in there, and now my sister's living with us, and she really needs one, but there wouldn't be any room for the darn thing anyway, but um, she's got a couple of shelves and some storage options, and we have to figure out where we're going to put them, so we'll see. After this new room arrangement, there's not going to be a whole lot of wall room. There's going to be a, it's going to look a lot bigger because there's going to be a lot more open space in the middle, but oh, there's a closet on one wall, the bedroom door on the other wall, and then the bed goes on the other two walls, so yeah, not a lot of, uh, not a lot of space to work with there. So, we'll, we, shall, we shall see, um, but the landlords came to work on the flooring and they repaired the floor and decided they wanted to put carpet down, so they put a little over half of the carpet down and they lived four hours away, so they had to get back today and Uncle Cece's going to finish his up tomorrow, so we should have that room done and set aside and let her figure out where she wants things when she gets home. She's spending the night with a friend, but I have to pick her up tomorrow at 10 from work, so. But other than that, um, I worked on some projects. Uncle Cece played in his office, or hung out in his office. But I'll show you what I worked on. Yeah, I just got a side view of my hideous hair. And I'm gonna see if I can get these on here. It's a cross. This shiny is gold, liquid gold leaf. 
and you can see it's all through there and I'm going to put either scripture or maybe um, family name on this but yeah, that's what that one looks like and then um, this one I really like this one I like these bright colors and this one has scripture without the cross there is no savior anyway yeah that's um, the second one I did four of these but I gave the landlord one of them I did get a picture of it but I haven't got it here to show you because it's with them and then this one the highlights on the flowers and around these little things are um, is liquid leaf I'm horrible at showing things like this so anyway that's three of the four that I made today so I got a lot done on those I hope they don't slide down and get damaged anyway got those done and I'm either going to put scripture on the other two or family names I was doing them for Christmas presents but I'm wondering if I could sell them they're 11 by 14s I'm not asking you guys to put buy them but they're 11 by 14 and I don't know I don't know if anybody be, I don't, you know I don't know if there's a market for them but I guess I'm gonna do a yard sale because I there's so much in this house that doesn't need to be here and I'm thinking I might do some up and set out and see if I can sell them. But it's either that or get a Etsy side or something and try to sell them. But what do you think I could get for that? Eleven by fourteen, something like that. I don't know. I I never think my stuff is good enough to sell. I think it's good enough to give to family members for Christmas, but I, you know, I never think it's good enough to sell. But, um, I worked on those, and yard sale, yeah, I'll talk about that. I'm waiting for it to get cool enough to have one. It has been horribly hot here, but I can say the last two days, it has been much nicer. Um, this house never cools off to anywhere below 83 degrees. Um, maybe in the mornings, like in the 80s, 78, 80s, but during the summer, it has been so hot in here. But for the last couple of days, our air conditioning has been able to cool the house off to 74. So it's been like, been really nice <laughs> so uh, but and when when the weather gets reliable and cooler will reliably cooler we'll have a yard sale and I've got some things already stacked up on the carport for the yard sale and I have to pull some more things out of the house I think our whole carport is going to be full of things that need to go in the yard sale. And if I opened up our shed outside, there'd be a heck of a lot more. But, or a good many things. But that shed leaks, so there's probably going to be more to burn than there is to keep. But yeah, I've got to get some things out of this house. I am so tired of walking around, you know, things stacked up. It's a lot of clothes. We have a lot of extra crap that needs to go, clothes-wise. And, oh, who knows what I'll find when I begin digging out. But this summer, I haven't been able to do a lot of dusting. I've got to pull things out and dust them. China Hutch, everything needs to be pulled out, dusted. I need, while I've got everything pulled out, I need to disassemble the China Hutch and pull it from the wall and clean out from under it and mop and such. Rennie, the 
this summer had her jobs. She picked her jobs. I told her at any time she wanted to, she could quit her jobs. She just wouldn't get the pay and she couldn't buy the electric guitar. So I caught that little girl doing a couple of things. One thing is she'd pull a few things out of the dishwasher. And I mean maybe five, ten items. And that includes forks, you know, cutlery, such as that, flatware. And put those up and then put a few of the dirty back in and wash them. And I kept wondering why we were running out of dishwasher detergent. And it's because she was just running things that... Oh, that child. And I also caught her sweeping dirt instead of dustpanning it up and putting it in the trash. I caught her sweeping it under the china hutch. So now I have to pull all of that out and clean up. So I'm not happy about that. And, and the little monkey got my meat cleaver and she was banging on something in the kitchen the other day and I said, Rainy, what are you doing? And then she said, oh, nothing. And it didn't, I mean, it didn't sound, it was nothing to arouse any suspicion. It was just some knocking. I went in there and I was putting up dishes the next day out of the dishwasher and opened up the drawer that I put serving spoons and you know big big items in and knives some of my knives the drawer the front face of the drawer has been hacked in about 10 times I don't know when the other happened because the knocking I heard was like three or four times so she must have done it repeatedly at different times. It had to be in the house because I had no idea. And there's about 10 hack marks. And it also looks like in three spots on the front of the drawer, she dug little holes in it with the tip of a knife. I am so unbelievably upset with that child. But, you know, being upset isn't going to help the face of that drawer, any, so, and also found on another drawer she had dug a couple of holes in there, so, oh, I want to kill her, well, figuratively, not literally, um, but, there was a couple of other things, but we, we won't talk about all of it, <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I'm hoping I don't find any other surprises. But um, so I have to, I have to go through and do all the dusting that I didn't do because I'm telling you guys, uh, for mothers who are used to running after and around children, especially you young mothers, it's nothing. It is nothing. But when you're 42 years old and you're running around after a seven-year-old and an 11-year-old, it's all I can do to do laundry, get the basic things of the house done, and feed them breakfast, lunch, and dinner. When forget everything else. Um, no dusting went on. You, you just, I just couldn't. I, ah. And right at the very end, I kind of threw in the towel because now in my bedroom, it's completely disorganized and there's laundry in there. It's clean laundry, but it's stacked up on the dresser, it's in a couple of baskets, I have to put that away and I've just been going, I'm not going to look at you. If, you. if I don't look at you, you're not there. So I've been ignoring it, but tomorrow I really need to get on that while Uncle Cece is working on carpet in the spare room. Alright guys, I'm at 1430. I really need to get off here. I will talk to you guys later. Hopefully tomorrow or the next day I'll make a video. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the weekend. Bye.